So good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon, Carla. So you can see my screen, na, diba? Good afternoon, yes, everyone. Um, Andy here and Ivy. So last time we actually um had an orientation regarding um all our requirements and lahat is actually recorded. I sent you the link through the Facebook group natin and our announcement in the class. So so there you have just just click this link para ma ma review niyo ang sa tong mga requirements if you were not able to join last meeting. And for this meeting, we're going to talk about the first chapter. Actually, um, I'm trying to select, I'm, I'm trying to select only those um topics na we really needed, no? But then I forgot na na, na send na dahil kung baka um, exam sa inyo ha. So, well, therefore, most probably, i-include ya po na ko panan. Anyway, so as an introduction to our biology, which is, we know already what is biology, no? the study of life, living things, and all living things are called organisms, and that includes humans, bacteria, animals, protists, fungi, and plants, no? In some other countries, like the Australian, they 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 pronounce kunjai as fungi. Fungi, no? So kung mayung ka kunjai, di na nila ma di na nila ma ma intindihan. Fungi na ilaha. So the study we're going to talk about the study of biology. No, so um actually um based on this reference. No, the C Massingale. Um, I actually gave you the link. I don't know if na paste man ako ang link ani. But anyhow, um, of course we have known that um the most accepted the theory based on um based on available no theories is the Big Bang theory. So, anyone who could explain what's the Big Bang Theory? Anyone? It's my how would that of the nang go on? Yes, here. Try lang, ma'am. Yes. Kwanan, sinagdanan sa panan ng. Yes, and how does it happen according to the theory? So, nakakita ng bukuan, Ana? Anang marag, um, what do you call that? Video presentation regarding that? Bakit lang po ka ulit can work. Kailang anal join. So um, you can actually Google no um different theories or different presentation regarding uh the Big Bang theory. But um to su to sum up it all, it's just talking about how did every every piece of organism or life on Earth began since um. The very uh, first, like they said, uh, life actually existed like 3.5 billion years ago. Um, although um, this is just an, a rough estimate, you no. Know? And um, as we can, as we have remembered, the civilizations um, occurred in Mesopotamia. Now it's in Iraq and Iraq, Iran and Iraq, and it was about um, 11,500 years ago already, diba? Um, but then our calendar year start as 20, 2021. So our atom calendar is only 2000, but actually civilization occur as 11,000 years ago na. No? Kasi meron tayong before Christ and after Christ na mga dating something. 
So in the Big Bang Theory, we were, we came from a large amount, mass of energy, then it formed form into a different solar system and so on. So we have Earth. So the first organism living things were actually single cell, no? Um, therefore, ano yung mga single cell organism natin? Those are the bacteria. No? So if we still have a lot of time, I can show you uh, the most, ano, the most, pinakatigulang na mga organisms on earth. No? So there are even plants, like, no? Um, are you aware kung sa'y mga pinakatigulang na plants in the, in, in earth? On Earth, anyone? Or could you have a guess? Kung sa ang pinakatigulang na mga tanong, is it um, moss? Is it fern? Is it palm? What do you think? Is it um, Centennial Tree na manga or Balite or ano? Carla? Carla, excited kay ka ba? Ikaw din yung unang sunod sa klase. By the way, congratulations sa mga officers natin and thank you very much for accepting always the challenge to become a leader or a servant. So, siguro nice something proud on si Carla. So, therefore, um, the first organisms actually since we were single cell, therefore the most or the oldest organisms on earth alive are actually the bacteria, no? And uh, there are specific bacteria that can be, kanang, that can be, um, they, they think, uh, I mean, matrace back pa through what the carbon dating, no? It's um it's the most acceptable, although dili siya pinaka accurate na to date back all the age of everything or no? everything on earth. And going back to my question, ano yung pinaka oldest na mga mga ano mga plants on earth are actually ferns, no? So have you seen? Yes, Andy. Ah, uh, mansanas na. You mean apple? Yes po. Like how old? According to the Bible? Yes po, I don't need. Yeah, it's before Christ. Yes, Andy, you're right. If we are going to base it on the Bible, but um, if we base it on um, science or scientific evidence, um, because um, let's try to separate science from religion or science from uh, the Bible. I say the Bible is also a literature. Although I, I know I'm also a Catholic and uh, a Christian, so. We believe that it's um it's the most what do you call that? Kanang, ano, important enough form of I mean accurate literature. But then we, we cannot get away that if you believe in science, you cannot believe with um religion or the Bible. No, but um since we are talking about I'm so sorry, we're talking about biology, so Everything is based on science. So based on science, therefore, um, we have the ferns. No, if you have seen ferns, no, uh, um, when I had my my tour in in China, they have all the ferns, which which is very old, as old as three thousand years ago. So naka age na ilang mga ferns dito. Um, yes, there were 500 years old, 100 years old ferns, and it's really very amazing. So, um, although in the Philippines, we may have those kinds of ferns, and even yung sinabi no previous mga students ko, um, yung kanang, uh, sige na, kanang dwarf na ano? Kanang dwarf nga trees, unsay tawa na, bonsai. No? 
Bunsai can also be uh, more than 50 years old. No? So only life on Earth for millions of uh, years ang mga bacteria before. And um, as the organism evolved over time, they also change. So new organisms may arise from older kinds and uh, some of them become ex extinct, no? Like the, ano, was it? Like the, <laughs> No, it's not dinosaur. Oh my god. Um, and today there are all, a lot of or millions of species, but before it's only bacteria, no? And they inhabit almost every region of the earth today. And uh, of course, if you will be asked one day. Um, asa ang mas daghan o species? Is it is it somewhere in the um the Tropic of Capricorn or the Tropic of Cancer? Have you heard of those things? Yes or no? No, ma. No, pa, ma. Really? Now you now you know. <laughs> so when they say uh Tropic of um Cancer. It's somewhere in the uh, north. Yeah, it's somewhere in north, no? And when it says Tropic of uh, Capricorn, it is somewhere in um, north. Yeah, this one. So um, this is the Tropic of Cancer. And the Tropic of Capricorn is... Maklaro ba ninyo? Akan na lang. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Laro, ma'am. So this is the Tropic of... Castellan. Arishay. Something. So this is the Tropic of Cancer to the North Pole. And the Tropic of Capricorn is to the, to the south no? of the equator. So by the way, are we in the north or in the south of, of equator, the Philippines? So ano ata ma'am sa equator? No, we're not on the or equator. Not. Are we on the north the or south? the south? Thank you, Jerwin. Ha? Huh? North south or po. south? South, ma'am. The south po, ma'am. Uh, kisa na yung south. Um Carla, is that you? So thank you for your answer. I really appreciate it. But um, we are actually on the north of the equator. Pero feeling na to, na to sa south, no? So, of course, in this, uh, as you can see, this is 23.5 degrees. So um, most, most of the varieties of the organisms on the flora and the fauna I mean, the flora is the uh, the the plants and the fauna are the um animals are within within this uh green lines, no? The Tropic of Cancer and Tropic of Capricorn towards the equator, and beyond that to the North Pole and to the South Pole, um, there are less ng mga um species of organisms. So you what you can see are actually Greenland savannas. Um, we're in um like six months without um without without summer or without sun, no? So sometimes six months. Ang sun nila is only three months. If you're gonna go there, so naglagot <laughs> makita ay dilit man ata niya makita niya marag. Sige, isip mo yun. Saan si Mama? Manig tala-tala. Na mag-quisa. Ang nasa ay ano ba? Panel na sa mukhang keko. So going back here. Yeah, actually. um Kasi sometimes we, we really misunderstood when I was first asked regarding that. I also answered something like we are on the <laughs> south of the equator. 
No, but we are actually on the north of the equator. Tao, ma'am. Yes. Sa Southeast Asia, mga good na ano kana sa kana na word mo kaya ko anjud ka ba na na abi abi na tog na ata sa ano? Yes, Jerwin. Correct ka ayo. No, so um moving forward with. Um, today, there are millions of species, as I have told you, but it's only within the equator part, uh, below the Tropic of Cancer and above the Tropic of Capricorn. So, they inhabit almost every region of the Earth today, no, but as I have told you, only on those regions. Now, going back here, only on these regions. Kasi ang nakalagay dito are actually almost every region on earth. So you should know that. And um, cell structure and function. Um, cell is the basic unit of life and it has its own structure and function. And we also are, we also have stability and homeostasis. So homeostasis means balance. So we have, our body are, should be um, adapted to balance with, in terms of temperature, water, and even oxygen. No? So um, reproduction and inheritance. So we, um, like all living organisms, actually our main theme is to reproduce and inherit the characteristic. And also evolution to evolve and interdependence of organisms, meaning each of us are connected to our environment or to our ecology. And we also have the so-called matter, energy, and organization. So if you know what is matter and energy, it's all about um, space, um, physics. You know? And we have the so-called, I just forgot the term. We have the so-called, um, I forgot. Next time na lang. So, um, yung, yung kay ano gani? Hmm, I forgot. So next time. So cell structure and function. As I have said, cell is the basic unit of life. Everything is made up of cell. Every single cell. And are able to develop also from each cell. And um, some compose only sing of single or unicellular. So most of us... Uh, higher animals and plants are multicellular, so only bacteria are unicellular, and uh, this this bacteria are identical to the parents. So magkamukalang sila halos. And yes, I, I have said this already. And um, cells also undergo differentiation, no, para maform siya into organ and um and also into different parts of the body or in plants, let's say into different um, for flowering, for fruits. And, and as we age, so everything age and everything change. So walang, uh, walang, all organisms die someday. So walay mag last long. So, and of course cells are small. Mamaya, I will so show you the, from the, uh, the, the, the smallest to the largest cells, and it's highly organized. No, gamay lang siya, but you can see, of course, you remember what are the different parts of the cell. So, if you like, you can help me later um, enumerate what are these different parts of the cell. No, and we are we contain specialized structures, or as I have said, these are organelles, no may function, and these are specific only. So, um, as you can see on the photo here, no, there are um, cells that carry out a specific gene for some, like responsible for the color of the eyes, no, and different kinds of cells also exist and surrounded by plasma membrane. And of course, contain the genetic information called the uh, deoxy um, nucleic acid, DNA. So organism, as I have said, should maintain stable internal condi condition all known as the homeostasis. So we should be able to balance the temperature, the water content, the chemical content of our body. You know, um, although wherever we 
go. So I just remember my my best friend's mom na namatay siya no and uh, kasi na stroke. So dili ayahang brain is na nagbuto ang ugat. So dili na niya ma-balance ang ang wala na siya homeostasis. Dili na niya ma-balance ang temperature. So init kaya siya, it's either init kaya siya or dumdaw ka ay siya. Something like that. So you're gonna die if you cannot balance um the, the temperature or the water in your body. So about reproduction or or all organisms produce new organisms like themselves. So we reproduce. So but then um or, um organism transmit hereditary information also. So um we call that inheritance. We all know that. And we have DNA or the deoxyribonucleic acid, and this contain our genes. So this is the structure of our genes. They make up the proteins, which are made also of complex chemicals. And DNA, everybody's cell, uh, called somatic cells, are exactly the same. So for sexual reproduction, uh, the hereditary information from different organisms are combined in the same species, so we cannot reproduce from different from two different species, no, of course, unless alien ka. So, yeah, so alam na natin yan. And egg and sperm will combine into zygote known as the fertilized egg. So we will be, um, this is just a, a very brief introduction and we will be talking a lot of this when we go to the next chapter on genetics. So zygote contains both the hereditary information of the parents, no? Like for example, kung guapo, guapa yung mga parents, therefore, di ba? Hybrid kayo yung pagka, guapa o guapo. Pero kung um, wala ka niliwat sa mga parents, ang tawag anak, malas. So joke lang na. A sexual reproduction also occur in some plants. Uh, hereditary information from one usually are unicellular organism and they just divide. No? Uh, so they have exactly the same um, hereditary, hereditary information. So that's why exactly the same. And these are mostly uh, from bacterial organisms. Resulting cells are identical, therefore, and uh, in genetic information is exactly the same from the mother to the single, from the mother or from the parent. So in plants also, and in some higher animals, this occur. Mm, yeah, which animal? But I, I forgot, but there, that's, there are actually animals that capable of that. And for plants, of course, kung ka nang magmarkot ka, or like uh, those plants that are Apomectic, no? They are apomectic, meaning, have you heard apomectic before? Nakadungog na mo? Wala, ma'am. Yes, Lance? Wala, ma'am. Oh, no. So, apomectic is just like, um, something like, Kanang, um, it's just like um, it's a sexual reproduction. It came from seeds, but the, it has a nucellar tissue that are capable of um, mag, uh, mag clone siya, no? There are a lot of plants that are um, apomectic, like let, let's say mango, lenzones, and um, Mangosteen. So these are apomectic plants, which means, and also citrus, no? Kung, um, if you notice this, their seeds, kumutubo na sa isa ka seeds lang, daghan na siya o ganang, I don't like you. Um, daghan na siya o seedling na, duha ka seedling or more ang mutubo. So ang isa ana, gikan sa seeds, no? ang, uh, ang isa po ana is gikan po sa nucellar tissue. So, can I get the seed? Apomectic seedling. 
So, ang isa na actually is yung tubo, this one. Yeah, ang sadya siya. So, as you can see, tagduha, diba, ang may tubo. Kung maklaro ninyo, this one is very clear and this is apomexy. So, you can see, sa isa kasi tuluan ang tubo. This is citrus. Most probably, um, citrus gan eh. Limoncito siguro niya. So, so, of course, you cannot determine asa kaya ani ang Oh my God. Asa ka ani ang gikan sa ano, no? Gikan sa, what do you call that? Nusiglar o gikan sa seeds. So, one of these came from the seeds, but they say, usually, those that came from the nusiglar tissues are the one that is very highly, ano, prolific. So, most probably, this one is from the nusiglar tissues. The other one, and this is most probably from the seeds. So, Tulo na sila magkapareho. Kung kani ang imong ipatubulik, tanggalo ni Munin Luha. So kani, must have different characteristic kasi sexually na siya eh. Uh, from the mother plant. But but usually through time, mamatay mong magyapon. Mas ma, as I have said, mas prolific kasi siya. You know, prolific is only for um, animals. But kanang, I mean, the best food siya no kanang mark. Siya yun ang madaog. So, most probably, kanil yun ang motobo. Which is from the nucellar tissue. That's why most of the mango or most of the mangosteen or the lagodones, kung itanong ni mo ang seeds nila, exactly the same rabot sa mother plant ang motobo or ang characteristic. So, I really talk a lot. So, we only have 10 minutes. So, I should be done with this. So, as I have said, evolution. Um, um, even by now, during the pandemic, um, we don't know that we are being changed. And we, by, by, change by, by the virus, no? Um, and, and this time is also time for evolution. Um, like, um, most of us are vaccinated or most of us are naturally infected without knowing. And we just have a very good, na uh, immune system that we are able to thrive and we are able to surpass the virus but genetically we may be changed no we don't know and then we become superior species no and um so therefore as we uh, as we age if you know the different ancestors of of humanity that they say we came from um, monkeys no we came from eight, so we, we just evolved through time. So we have now the best characteristic. And also same with all organisms. So, um, we look and behave the way they do through time. And um, this is also a basis for exploring relationship among other organisms and our relationship because everything in our ecosystem are connected. And uh, we say natural selection. Um, we have, if we cannot fit into the, the environment that we live in, then we, it's either we die, we become extinct, and or we survive, no? So that's natural selection. The driving force and evolution. So there's something, it could be like pandemic, bacterial infection, virus, or um, changes of environment, climatic change, that could be that. So all of our favorable traits that would be able us to survive and successfully reproduce. So therefore, kung halimbawa, um, dili ka magkaanak, no? With your, with your, with your wife or with your husband someday. So, um, well, you lose the, the ability to reproduce, no? And, um, but don't be sad for that kasi that is just uh, biologically or genetically. So, pwede, na, pwede ka namang mag or if you are blessed with technology and um, money, so pwede ka namang mag-test your baby someday. No? So, there are actually a lot of couple nowadays that cannot really have um, their own baby, although all the rest are normal. So, and that is something also very surprising that hindi pa natin alam ang explanation behind. So survival of organism with favorable traits cause gradual change in population over many generations. 
No, so um, like they say, in Germany, they've been accepting a lot of um, kanang kanang mupuyo ganit sa ilaha or um, as as I forgot, but um, kanang mag muato ganit ka sa ubang country, something like that. So, kasi ang ang mga Germans population is decreasing, no? So, who's gonna uh, dili man po pwede sa isang country na wala na yung trabaho sa ila kay puro na lang sila dato, no? So, again, um, this is the survival of the fetus. So, it is still the theory that really is existing even until now. And we also have interdependence among organisms or we do interact with one another in our environment called ecology. So for example, insects depend on flowers and um, we depend for flowers for food and pollination. So we co-evolve, co-evolution. So we are connected and um, all organisms, we all um, need nutrients, water, gas from the environment. So we are seeking stable stability of the environment, no? which depends on the healthy relationship and functioning of organisms in an environment or in, a, in an ecosystem. So even matter, energy, and organi organization uh, is also part. You know, living things are highly organized, require constant supply of energy, air, and, and so on. So when we say energy, um, we have energy that came from the sun, first and foremost through photosynthesis, directly or indirectly. But uh, we uh, animals and most animals do get energy from photosynthesis now. And um, we will discuss a lot more on photosynthesis when we have the topic on that chapter. So we have autotrophs. Uh, we called uh, autotrophs for those plants we get, who get energy from the sun and phototropes use solar energy or photosynthesis to get energy and convert water and carbon dioxide and sugar into oxygen. So we also have chemotropes, no? Wherein they don't get the energy from the sun, but from the chemicals. So those are the differences between photoautotrophs and chemoautotrophs. But we're gonna do. We also have heterotrophs, no? Which means we are one of those. No, we, we just, we consume autotrophs. Well, dito pwede mo himog atong sariling energy and food. So, we are classified as herbivores or plant eaters, carnivores, meat eaters, and omnivores. We both eat both, no? And um, they, we, we do the, we broke the chemicals and uh, we metabolize. So, that's all for the world of biology. Are there more? Yeah, there are more. So the characteristic of life actually are actually um, repetition. No, we all know this are made of a cell. We reproduce. We have DNA. We grow and we develop, and um, we obtain use energy and respond to our environment. And we have a stable environment to to uh, be alive. And we should co evolve. No, although we change over time. So therefore, um, lahat tayo organisms are actually social. No, we part of um ecology. So those are the characteristics of an organism. So, of course, we know that cells are the most, uh, the 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 most the smallest. No, uh, and uh, we have cytoplasm. We have cell membrane, and we are organized, and we have organelles. So don't worry because each of this will be discussed next meeting. So we also have prokaryotes or those um, cells that they have nucleus or membrane bound, bound or bacteria. But and we also have eukaryotes which are membrane bound and mostly are plants, animals, produce, and fungi. So uh, we can be unicellular or multicellular as I have mentioned earlier. So most of the plants and animals are multicellular, while unicellular are bacteria, and always small. And the number of cells 
the size of multi cell organism depends on the number of cells, no? not their size. So all cells are small, but in number, which is a different. Now, as you can see here, now from, from the smallest matter, 0.1 nanometer to, uh, what's this? Uh, to th this are, what do you call this? For virus and uh, for cells. So as you can see here, it's not actually the, the, the humans that had the biggest or the most 